Our whole, this is a member of the voice of reason. I'm coming out to you. And I'm here with Abraham. Abraham, what country, where are you from? I'm from uh, Africa. Africa's not a country, it's a continent. Yeah, Kenya. Where? Kenya, Kenya. Kenya? Yeah, it is the Africa. <laughs> Next okay. is Somalia. Somalia, you said? On the eastern, on the east, on the west of Somalia. And Abraham Southern here. Southern of Ethiopia. So and no. Abe here is a, um, is um, is also a part of the native uh, part of the native tribe of Kenya. What tribe are you? I'm a Nandi. You're a Nandi. Nandi tribe. A Nandi tribe. Just say Jamin. Just say um, Jamin Hansu. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's a Nandi also. He really is a Nandi. Yeah, Nandi tribe. Because he plays a Nandi in um, Amistad. No, maybe something else. No, no, he's a Nandi. He's a Nandi in, in, the, in the movie Amistad. Uh, Nandi tribe? Yeah, he's, he's part of the Nandi in the he's part of the Nandi tribe. Okay. Even even in Blood Diamond, he's also part of the Nandi tribe. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the Nandi uh, so the Nandi have been featured in a lot of movies. Actually, we have a, a Nandi something Nandi in India. Yeah, but have you, did you know that your tribe has has been featured in a lot of movies? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know my tribe has been featured in a lot of movies too. Okay. Yeah. Are they paying you? No. No, they're not paying me either. Yeah, they're free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're not paying me either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bastards. Yeah. yeah. Right. Actually, for my for my way, it kind of makes you want to find him. We have Nandi Hills. It kind of makes you want to find Steven Spielberg. Like, yo, get out the checkbook. Well, yeah, yeah. Pay up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? I'm not getting any royalties for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. That makes you want to find James Cameron and be like, here, get out the checkbook, come out, motherfucker. Why? Yeah. You made a movie about my tribe but didn't ask permission to do so. Yeah. And then stiffed us on the royalty, so fuck you. <laughs> no. So what's Kenya like? It's very nice. Is it hot? It's, it's like California. Kenyan weather is almost the same as California weather. California has tidal waves, earthquakes, and AIDS. No, but no others. <laughs> 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 so it's a cool and wet climate. Yeah, that's cool. But northern part of Kenya is <clears throat> dry, very dry. Just like California, we have places in California too, right? Is it true that you have to be aware that baboons will break into your houses? No, no. baboons are more, mostly found in, um, in Congo. Oh, okay. Congo so, forest. So that they're nowhere near. They're nowhere near. No, you. no, not even Congo. What dangerous wild animals are in Kenya? Uh, lions, elephants. Wild dogs, um, hyenas, hyenas, yeah. leopards, cheetahs, crocodiles. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my! Yeah, wild dogs. <laughs> shit! <laughs> Are there any like non-alpha male alpha predators in that country? <laughs> like, no. You might as well say, okay, hello, wildlife. Dinner, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but you know what? You know anything about the lions? Yeah. The lion is gonna eat. It's not gonna eat you if it, it can smell your heart. Oh. And if your heart is scared, they're gonna come after you. So you can bust a bunch of lions laying down, but they're not gonna mess up with you if they smell your heart you're and calm. your blood and your and your heart is brave. They can smell it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they can smell it. I heard a story about a pack of lions actually saving a little girl from a bunch of kidnappers. No, I'm never that. No, it was Wait. it happened in Kenya. They they kidnapped a little girl and um, a bunch of female lionesses came and chased the guys away and stayed with her until some park rangers came and got her. No, I didn't hear anything about that. You never heard about that? Yeah. That's a very famous story. Wow, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna Google it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah do you have any question about Kenya or that's it? Oh, what do you yeah. know about Kenya? Okay. I do know that a good portion of Western Kenya, um, Shaka Zulu conquered and a good portion of it and ruled it. When, a long time ago? A long time ago. Shaka okay. Zulu conquered most of Kenya, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, conquered a lot, he conquered a lot of lands. They called him the Genghis Khan of Africa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that guy was, he was pretty badass. In fact, yeah. you know, he, a lot of his, um, a lot of his warrior fighting techniques are still mimicked by, um, by, um, by, um, by military forces all over, yes. all, over, all, all over the world today. So actually, Kenya is number three in production yeah. of tea in the world. A what? Production of black tea. Production of black tea in the world. What's black tea? Black tea. 
the a thing. Bla- a black tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sort of in my accent. Say black. Black tea. tea. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Kenya is number three in the war. Yeah, that's cool. Behind uh, India and China. What? Behind India and China. You, you said no. Gi- China is number one. You said China. Yeah, China. You mean China? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It sounded like you said something else. And then I, India. I'm sorry, man. And then India. It it sounded, India, India it, number two. I'm sorry. It sounded like you said something else. No, like, India, India number two. Oh wow. <laughs> then Kenya number three. Oh, and you know, Kenya is a small country compared to China. Oh, okay. Compared to India. Yeah. That's cool. No, I didn't realize that. It's one of the one of the top producers. So by size, by so, size. So you have you guys are one of the top producers of um, black tea. Yeah, by size. So Kenya should be number one, by size. It was a small size. Have you ever been to Johannesburg? No. They have something called uh, I don't know how to pronounce the word. It's, it's, it's a xenophobia. Xenophobia attack. Oh. Do you have all that? I have. They are taking foreigners from. Have you ever been to South Africa? No. What about um, Burkina Faso? No. Yeah, I would like to go there. <laughs> huh? Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. I would yeah. like to go there. <laughs> you, remember, you and I used to live with a guy from that country. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, he would say it so fast. Yeah. I couldn't understand a damn thing that he like. Yeah. What? what, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say it a lot slower, man. I'm trying yeah. to learn how to say that. And I actually had to look it up and like, oh. Burkina Faso. Yeah. Oh, you see, it's a French word, right? <laughs> it's a very, it's a very, it's a different word culturally. It's a very different word. Wow. Much like, much like the line, the native tongue of my tribe, the Tamil. Wow. The, the language known as Taino. You know, there are a lot of countries in West Africa. A lot. Yeah. yeah, we have. I mean, just like almost you know, like twenty countries in West Africa. Yeah. More than twenty. You guys have like over. You guys, they say that in Africa alone, you guys have over two thousand different dialects. Yes, yes. My country alone, we have forty. <laughs> You have 40 dialects? 40, 40, no, not a dialect, a tribe, complete tribe. Talking about languages. Yeah. You have, you have over two, Africa alone has over 2,000 languages. We have 40 in my country. Language. Time is 50 countries in Africa. Oh, well, yeah. All the countries in Africa, um, they say, have by themselves have over 2,000 languages. Right? Yes, languages. Free, by, by its, the kind of by itself. Yeah. Has over 2,000 languages by yes. itself. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, which yeah. means that... Not everybody in Africa can understand each other. So no, no. You go to you go to. You have to use a universal language. You go to Ghana, you wouldn't know. You, you probably wouldn't know, understand half the languages in Ghana. No, no, all of them. They I speak think. because they speak primarily Swahili, and you're not. No, they don't speak Swahili. Either. Swahili is a national language in Kenya, oh, really? Tanzania, Somalia, so where is Rwanda, that, where is Afri- Burundi, where is Afrikaans from? Uganda. Yeah. Where's Afrikaans from? African is from uh, South Africa. Oh, okay, so it's only in that country. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, because somebody, I'm um, sorry, from South Africa, one time said, "Buy a donkey," to me. and I'm like, "Huh?" And, <laughs> and he said, "What? He, he meant what?" Well, he was saying thank you, and I, oh, didn't, I didn't realize okay. that he was a Sulu. No, it was an Afrikaans. Oh. Uh, um, he was saying "Buy a donkey," which means um, thank you in, in uh, Afrikaans. Oh. Um, and I had no idea what he was saying. Just like um, I one time learned some Swahili curse words, and I was, I was afraid to say them because. I didn't know what they were, what they meant. Oh, yeah, you told me last time. Yeah, and then yeah. you explained to me what they mean. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I asked you exactly, what kind of trouble would I get into if I said that out loud? And Ken, you said, a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, they'll kill you. Like, yeah, yeah. They'll, like, quite literally, they'll shoot you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I know not to do that. That's cool, though. I mean, no, yeah, they're going to put you down and whip you with a, with a long stick. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, have you ever seen the movie Baba? No. With um, Baba actually is a Swahili word, means the father. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a movie called Baba, um, with Danny Glover. No, I've never watched that movie. Good movie, you like it. Yeah, maybe one day yeah, I'm it, um, it tackles the issue of in South Africa, students wanting to speak English and protesting and not wanting to speak in Afrikaans. Wow. And how the South African government was being very abusive in their power and. Arresting them and locking locking them up just wow. because they're protesting. Wow. And so I mean it's I guess some of the countries in Africa are still like recovering from the years of like yeah yeah turmoil. Abitai, they call it Abitai, yeah yeah right? apartheid yeah apartheid yeah. yeah has Kenya ever had that problem? Yeah, a long time ago, but no 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 the same way as South Africa. Yeah, but nowhere near as bad. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
You know, I heard some stories about that place. I mean, I get the, one of the most infamous stories regarding apartheid yeah. was um, Andre Stender. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Who's that guy? He was a cop who was... Um, was a white cop? He was a white cop yeah. in, in, in Johannesburg. He was yeah. Robin Banks. Well, uh, it was Robin Banks in Wearing Disguises. Wow. Yeah, and they even made a movie about him. That's crazy. Man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um... He even had a whole. He went to prison. It broke out. Yeah. Then went and robbed, robbed a bunch of banks and very boldly bought a mansion. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Man. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It was just it was nuts. But that's crazy. Yeah, I know. I mean, so I mean, I guess there was a lot of bad apples in Africa, but yeah. there's also a lot of good people too. Yeah. Yeah. And that's cool. Good people in Africa, man. Kenya sounds like an interesting country. Yeah, we don't fight. We don't fight. Do you know how? To fight? Yeah. Uh, just the basics. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Um, all right, in America, whenever you say something stupid, yeah, our dads usually say, "If you don't stop, I'm going to put my foot in your ass." What is your dad? What is what did dad say to their sons in Kenya? Uh, I'm going to slap you. They don't say I'm going to put my foot in your ass. I'm gonna no, no, no. no. They don't say that. Okay. Yeah. Not literally going to put their foot in their ass. It means that they're going to kick them really hard in the butt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. It's going to hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess there are some universal disciplinary truths that, you know, yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. going to get slapped. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Most common uh, way of fighting in Africa is slapping someone. Yeah. Anyway, this is a member of the Voice of Reason, and I've been having a lot of fun talking with Abraham here. And I'd like to thank you for. Oh, you're welcome. Are you kidding? No, this has yeah. been a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, this is. I mean, when when um, when a Native American can sit there and talk to a Native Kenyan from the Nandi tribe, when someone from the from the Taino can talk to the Nandi tribe, yeah. that is a rare opportunity. Yeah, you're right, man. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm still a pure Nandi. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mixed. And 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 I'm I'm not I'm I'm mixed, but you know, it's I'm I'm half Taino, half Irish Gypsy. Oh, you Irish Gypsy? Yeah. Irish. <laughs> Yeah, there's two types of gypsies, Romani gypsies and Irish gypsies. Oh, so Irish. Yeah. And my and mom, my mom, my mom's, my mom's Irish and my father's Taino. Oh, yeah. Indian. American Indian. Yeah. Okay. That's good, man. <laughs> it's, a rare, it's a rare chance to come, yeah. to talk, right? So it's Jaylene. Eh? Jaylene's also American Indian. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Anyway, this is Amen of the Voice Reason. Aho. Yeah. Come on.